In today's business case study, let's learn about Facebook and its parent company Meta. Now what is all about that we're going to be discussing is, it's about the firing which has recently taken place. 11,000 people were currently being fired by Facebook parent company Meta. Now let's know about it in detail. Meta to fire 11,000 people. Why is Facebook parent company cutting jobs? And what next? Why was Meta forced to fire thousands of its employees? And what does this signal about the economy? How will Indian workers be affected? Let's know about it in detail. Now Facebook, which has its parent company called Meta, has laid off 11,000 employees. That is close to Facebook's 13% employees altogether. Now why this big step had to be taken, let's know in detail. Before moving forward, if you're somebody who has come to our channel new, ensure that you hit the bell icon, subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss on any of these business case studies. Facebook parent company Meta laying off 11,000 people, about 13% of its workforce. CEO Mark Zuckerberg told employees in a letter Wednesday, the mass layoffs are the first in Meta's 18 year history and come soon after job cuts at Elon Musk owned Twitter and Microsoft Corporation also had done the same. Now, the laying off of employees, it's not only been followed with Meta, that is Facebook parent company. Recently, we have also seen Twitter firing its employees. In fact, in India, 90% of its employees. Whereas, we've also seen Indian company, that is like an attack giant by use, have also recently fired 2,500 employees. Now, before we discuss about Twitter and Baidu's, let's know a little more about why Meta had to take this extreme step after being an established company. We know that Elon Musk has taken a step because he has recently come in as a new boss to Twitter after buying majority of its stakes. Whereas Baidu is a company which is a startup to a Decacon, from a unicorn and Decacon. We've already explained in our previous videos what is unicorn and Decacon. Unicorn which has a $1 billion uh, valuation, whereas the Decacon is which has $10 billion valuation. So Baidu here which had more than $20 billion of valuation, that is more than 1 lakh crore rupees of valuation, also had lays of 2,500 employees. So if you're somebody who want to enhance your skills in the real world experience, then this is for you. If you're somebody who come from a technical background or if you're somebody who's looking to do an MBA, then this is the statistics in India. In India, a normal MBA costs about four to five lakhs rupees. And the rate of placement is about five to 8% in average MBA colleges. The ecosystem of startup in India doesn't require the qualified MBA from these average MBA colleges. Whereas hundreds of startups looks only for the skill based MBA people or the people who have knowledge about the business. If you're someone who have technical knowledge and want to integrate with the leadership knowledge, or if you're somebody who's looking to do an MBA, join this free webinar where you'll get to network with hundreds of professionals all together and you'll know exactly where do you got to do this. The link is in the description. We'll also tell you why this layoff happens, whether it is in startup or whether it's an established company like Facebook parent company Meta. Now before that, let's know about Meta's condition. Now, why does Meta had to take this extreme step? That is Facebook parent company and why does Mark Zuckerberg had to take this step? Let's learn about it in detail. We've also discussed about Facebook investment in Metaverse. That's also being a major reason. If you have not checked our video on Facebook, the link is in the description. So what has happened here is Mark Zuckerberg, who has invested in a virtual reality platform called Metaverse, which he has named it, whereas he had gone on to acquire Oculus in billions of dollars, which has also costed him because it's a future investment, which is not getting him at present a revenue. So the Meta investors, is a matter of concern for them because the investment has gone there and there's no revenue coming out of Oculus because it's a future investment from the point of Mark Zuckerberg. Whereas if you look into the current revenue generation of Facebook and Instagram together, which is owned by Meta as a parent company, it was doing well. However, Mark Zuckerberg to compensate the acquisition of Oculus and other investment and expenses which has occurred, 
has taken this extreme step of laying off 11,000 employees. That's close to about 13% of employees. Not only that, Facebook parent company Meta, which operates both in Facebook and Instagram, has also been drastically hit by Apple privacy policy that we've already discussed in a previous video. If you have not watched that video, then the link is in the description. Now, this metaverse idea of Mark Zuckerberg had paid him because a lot of hopes were from the current grown economies like USA and European countries. The majority of the people in USA and European countries use Apple devices. When the data could not be tracked, the revenue of Facebook, Meta, Instagram has taken a drastic hit. So this is one of the major reason alongside with the investment of Oculus acquisition has made Mark Zuckerberg to lay off its 11,000 employees. Now talking about the other companies like Twitter and Baiju's. Now let's speak about Twitter before. Twitter has laid off maximum number of employees as soon as it was acquired by Elon Musk who owns a majority stake in Twitter now. Now Elon Musk has also done another important development here. That is, most of the techie guys are being fired because it's already a developed platform and the revenue generating employees are being retained. Now that is the reason why we say a practical MBA webinar is important for you. If you're somebody who is a working professional, if you're somebody who come from a tech background, or looking to do an MBA and have a multiple options open for your future. If you're somebody who's looking to take a 50% plus hike in your present salary, then this free webinar of practical MBA is for you where you will get to meet hundreds of professionals all together and you'll know exactly where you got to do and keep options open for you so that you don't become one among them will be fired by companies like Twitter, Facebook or whether it is the Indian startup ecosystem. If you have the skills within you, then you can easily sift and make a growth for yourself. Hence, do not forget to register for this free webinar. The link is in the description. So you could see the gap here. The techie guys are being fired. The revenue generating people are being retained and even nevertheless, people who are into the operations of the company are also being fired. Now that's all about Facebook firing and Twitter firing. Now why Indian startup which has been from a unicorn to a decacorn which is valued more than 1 lakh crore rupees that is Baiju's has fired 2500 employees. The reason is very simple its profitability. Baiju's had raised series of investment right from its seed investment to series A, B, D, E, F, G and also corporate rounds. Baiju's has also sold out most of its stakes to the foreign investors. The shareholding pattern of Baiju's is so big that we will going to discuss in our next video in detail so that you understand how an Indian startup grows from zero to more than one lakh crore rupees. Now the interesting fact here is Baiju's has scaled up massively because of its EdTech product and with the help of the investors. But here, the problem with Baiju's is profitability. It's been more than 10 years, Baiju's is still not been in a situation where it's seen a profitable stage. Yes, there was a stage two years ago where it had a minor profit in its financial years. But whereas if we see the last financial year, the recent fiscal year, which Baiju's had reported, the losses were more than 4,500 crore rupees, whereas its revenue only stood at 2,500 crore rupees. Now this losses is because Baiju has went on to acquire more companies as well as the companies where which also require capital because those companies which were being acquired were also going into losses. Let's say for example, White Hat Junior, which is also a subsidy of Baiju is also undergoing losses. So this massive expansion of acquiring companies has hit by Jews, not only with not growing with revenue, but it's having double of its expenses. So by firing 2,500 people, that's close to about more than 11% of current Baiju strength, they also believe that they can cut short the expenses, but whereas they are massively spending in the marketing, 
let's say for example they have spent in indian cricket team that is to bcci they have spent more than 1000 crore rupees for their logo on indian cricket team shirt plus they are also investing on fifa world cup so their marketing budget is huge but they think now that by laying off the employees they can come to profitable if they do not become profitable what will happen the same story like a paytm we've seen paytm going to an ipo and drastically falling down from its shares from the expected growth what it was it was one of the top number one startup of india had its valuation for more than 15 billion dollars that's more than 1 lakh crore rupees and after it went to an ipo it drastically fell down if you have not watched our video on paytm then the link is in the description we have also discussed about zomato how zomato has converted its losses to profits for its investor whereas the losses were 4600 crore rupees but here zomato had played it smartly by giving profits to investors but the losses in the public hand by buying the stock of zomato we had to pay those losses what zomato had in the form of expenditure if you have still not watched our video on zomato the link is in the description so these two business case studies of paytm and zomato can also give an overlook of startup ecosystem in india and you can also correlate and link with this byju's so we'll going to make a complete detailed business case study on byju's in our next video but for here now it's the learning point is you should know when you join whether it's a startup or established company the layoffs are on massive stage so make sure that you enhance your skills if you're still not register for our free webinar practical mba then the link is in the description so what is that we are learning from these three case studies that is all put together facebook parent company meta twitter and byju's layoffs pulled together 11000 with facebook 2500 with byju's and 90% of employees of twitter have been fired in india so what is the big lesson to learn here until unless you have a skill in you that which can generate revenue or which can profit to the company your job is not safe hence you need to upgrade your skills if you have all round of skills then you have more chances to survive and more chances to grow not only that choose wisely to be among top 50 in a startup now here the lesson to learn is if you have not watched our video on esops where we have explained in detail how 500 employees of freshworks have earned more than 1 crore rupees so if you are a person who has entered into a startup in first 50 pyramid or if you are a person who have entered into a startup within 500 then your future with esops is settled however if you enter into a startup after 500 employees or let's say after 1000 employees then the hiring and firing system is there in a startup your job is not fixed so hence make sure that you be among top 50 or top 100 in startups and with respect to companies if you are working with established companies ensure that you upgrade your skills hope you've liked this video if you have liked this video do not forget to like and subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss on any of these business case studies see you in the next video